Okay, so um, someone wanted this question. So basically, it's how do you change the file um, of the background kind of gradually from like black to blue? And this is how you could pro probably do it in processing. So I'm going to try to go through the process. So right here, you can just see just a normal screen. I set the, um, the setup function and the draw function and you have just basic 800 by 800 screen on um, the background is set to zero right now so it's set to just black right now now what you can do is in the the setup function well first initialize a a you could do an integer yeah let's just do an integer so the integer would be time right and then in the setup, we'll just do timer equals zero. And for every time in draw, it's gonna update. So let's do timer plus equal one and let it run. And the same thing is happening because we haven't did anything. We haven't called that function yet. So let's see if we do background and we change it from background to timer. Now, you can see, oh, it changes. It's changing because it's going from black to uh, white. Now, what you can do is instead of just black to white, if you want just non-grayscale, you want to do RGB, you have to do 255, 255, 255 between the three. You can do, so it's, um, gr um, RGB, so red, green, blue. So if you want pure black, it's going to be 0, 0, 0. And if you want a type of blue, so it's red, you want 0. Let's say green, you want 0. And blue, you want, let's say, a value of like 100. So you want it to update only the blue function. So what you do is you change from 0 zero and instead you have timer and, and let it go now when you let it run oh it's getting lighter out of course now what's happening is it's eventually getting way too like almost too blue and it also takes it also happens so quickly like extremely quickly so what you can do is change the the integer to a float. No, no, oh, yeah, it changes to a float, the timer. And what you can do, do timer again, but we're, now we're going to change it to a smaller value, like 0 0.1, 0 0.1, instead of just adding one every time. And then what you can do is also you can constrain it. So you can do like um, I you can do like a map function, right? So you can do map. Let's just say let's call a new value in this case. So let's do like how about you say C or for, for example, this is blue, right? You want to see blue. So we'll do call it blue equals map between timer and um, 0, 1. Well, okay, the timer is going to go to a, a, a point, right? It's going to go to a point. Now, what we can do is also if we do, if we add an if statement, if timer is greater than greater than let's say greater than or equal to 100 we're going to stop it so if time well let's do timer is less than 100 you run, you update the timer. If it's not, you don't update it anymore, okay? 
So that gives you that. And then what you can do is you can do the map function. So now let's just take out the blue for a second and the blue variable. If you run it now, it should go very slowly. It's getting very slowly lighter. And then eventually when it reaches its 100 point, it's going to stop, okay? So that is how you do it. Okay? So, um, I hope that was useful. And um, if you need any more processing info, please um, check out some of my other videos and, or just contact me and I'll more than likely love to um, do videos and help you explain different stuff. Okay, thanks. Bye.